So over here, you can see that I have an animation. So if I were to go around and press the play button, you can see that this is a sort of a simple camera animation. And let's say I want to render this out. So over here, the animation is about uh, 135 frames right here. So let's say I want to render about 130 frames right here. So I'm going to export out a video and to export out the video, first of all, I need to work around with the render settings. And to do that, you can go around over here on the output properties, the printer like icon, and then this is what you have. So you can define the resolution right here. You can increase and decrease the resolution and you can see that it affects out the aspect ratio right here. So let's say I'm going to go around and go around with 720 right here. And let's say I'm going to go around for Y of 480 right here. You can see that I can go around and change around the resolution and the resolution is affected just like this. And you can select the percentage of the resolution as well. So right now it's 100% right here. So if I were to select it as 50%, it'll only render out 50% of the animation. So I'm just going to go around right here and I'm going to have uh, 1920 right here by 1080. So I'm just going to go around and type in 1080. And this is what I have, as you can see. So I'm going to go around and render this at a 50% rate right here. So now over here, you can see that I'm just going to go around, type in 50 uh, person right here. This is what I have. So over here, you can go around with the aspect ratio as well. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. So for the animation range, uh, this is one to 250 frames right here. So I'm going to render only 130 as we discussed uh, last time. So here are the steps. So steps are the frames. So right now it'll render out each and every frame. But if I were to uh, go for two, then it'll skip out each of the frame and render out only one. You can set the frame rate as well to 24 frames per second or 60 if you want to make it smooth over here. So I'm going to stick to 24 for this one. And this is the final resolution as you can see according to what we set right here. So you can go around 10 on stereoscopy over here as well and choose the output area. So I'm going to go around, select the folder and I'm going to go around and then select out desktop right here. I'm going to just accept and this is what I have. So over here, you can select the file format as well. So I'm going to go around and select out, let's say, uh, the AVI video right here, AVI JP Easy right here. Similarly, you can select out different image options over here as well. So now I'm going to save out the file extensions right here as well. And you can select out black and white or RGB and set the quality of the video as well. So let's see, set it out to around, uh, let's say 80%. You can also add in metadata if you want to, like you can uh, output the scene right here and so forth as you can see and uh, set around different options over here as well. So once you set that out right here, you can render this out. So to render out the animation, you go to render and then click on render animation. So once you do that, what happens is that it starts rendering right here as you can see. So I'm using the EV render right here. So depending on your computing speed right here, it will take some time to render. So you can see that it is slowly rendering this out. So it will take some time to render out everything. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. And as it renders, what happens is that it slowly moves as you can see. So you can uh, see each frame being rendered out right here as well. So over here, you can see that it is almost complete. It's on 126 frames now. And as it completes, it processes out and then uh, creates a video file out of this. So you can see that it's 130 frames now and the render has been complete right here. So this is what I have right here. So now once you complete out the rendering part right here, you can go around, you can just pull this and you can see that I have my file saved out in desktop. So there's an AVI file right here. I'm just going to go around and right click and open this out with VLC Media Player right here. So over here, you can see that this is what I have. This is the rendered out file as a video file uh, right there. So I can go around right here. Let me just open this out. This is the rendered out file that I rendered out from Blender and on as a video, as you can see right here. And that is how you can render out videos from within Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.